guys, welcome to a retro review. And as you can see by the screen, we are reviewing The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Yeah, we just felt like it, you know. It's a it's, it's cool. creepy it's game. Brilliant, it's creepy. yet creepy. Yeah, it's actually pretty... F okay, and I'm going to go to a finished file, just so we can do a quick review. Yep, this game requires memory expansion, the expansion pack, and it only has two save files, which is the, I think it's the only Legend of Zelda game. No, the, it was this one. Minish, Minish Kappa 3. No, yeah. This one and the 2DS Zelda games had two save files. Oh, right. And I think there are a few others, but I don't know. Well, as you can see by now, the graphics are very similar to Ocarina of Time. Uh, there's the same engine as well. It's the same engine, but they have been upped very slightly. If you look, yeah, Link's... If you look at the button sign, there's yeah. stuff on it. That's and it. if you look at Link's tunic itself, it's a lot more, there's a lot more colour to it. I don't know why this hate is cutting. It takes also, so long. Yeah, you have to do it every time. Yeah. That's why I find annoying. You can't skip cutscenes in the older Zelda games. This but yeah, as you can see, if you look at Link's tunic, it, there's a lot more colour to it, and but it's just more detailed. Really. Yeah, it's what makes the game. It's what makes the game great. Yeah. It's it's Tunes. very. It's quite a large game though. That's the thing. Oh, it's but, the guy that's pissing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very large game. You have a lot of items, and the dungeon items you get are the first dungeon item you get the bow, and then. All the other main dungeon items you get are just arrows, the fire arrows, the ice arrows, and the light arrows. I know, it's not very, it's not much of a reward, really. But um, the other items you do get are either by completing great fairy fountains, which are done by finding fairies in the, stray fairies in the dungeons, fairies. or just through side quests. And there are a lot there of There are bottles. loads of side quests. There, there are, are loads. In fact, they made an entire quest log sort of thing, so yeah. you can keep, um, so and, you can keep um, track. And all the masks here, spoiler, by the way, on some of them. Yes, um, um, so basically mm. each of the masks, they allow you to give, they give you different powers to use in the game, yeah. and they some of them references. For example, here's Fox from Star Fox, Falco, Peppy, Slippy, and Pigma. Yeah, it's a little a reference. You yes. should probably probably knew it. These but, yeah, masks are collecting all the masks and then going to the final dungeon will allow you to get this special mask, which I'm not going to spoil. But fierce date. No, it's already been spoiled. Yeah, okay. So basically, many fierce times. Mask. <laughs> it like, turns turn into adult Link and basically just uses very, very powerful. Very and the Zora mask, Gora mask, and Deku mask allow you to transform. And now this yeah, is the quest yeah. status you should recognise from Ocarina of Time. remains as well. Yeah, it's a very similar menu system to, to Ocarina of Time, but it's a much bigger game. The um, memory expansion allows them to make like four huge areas. It has got very few dungeons, but it's not really about the dungeons for some reason. It's more about exploration. And the story, yeah. yeah. And, uh, the, the song, and now these, this is the Bomber's Notebook. If you look, it has every character in the game, more or less. Meet them at every point in the day, and yeah. you'll fill it up. And all these blue bars mean a quest. I have finished all the quests, which is quite a hard task to do. Oh yeah. And well basically, each, they all reward you with certain things. So finishing all those will get you all of the masks, and will help you get your way to the finish. that dungeon. giant map of Terminus. Well. Now, here's the map. Now, you start in the very centre, in Clock Town. Now, this... Is basically yeah. your main hub. It's basically like, imagine Castle Tower from Ocarina of Time, but bigger. Mm. It's a, very similar to uh, like Kakariki Village, if you think of it. It's very big. It's like four villages, because they got the east side, the west side, the north side, the south side. It's very west big. Side. <laughs> west side. Yes, west side. Anyway. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And, and then... Um, um, to your south, <laughs> you have the woods and the Deku Palace, which is one of my, has my, my favourite theme oh, tunes yeah. in the Zelda series. I can't remember Zelda. Uh, Zora Hall, which is, which is really creepy as well. Great Bay. Um... Yeah, that, that place as well. The thing about this game is that you can do the dungeons in any order you like. Not really. I sh oh, really? You haven't played it that much. I haven't played it that much. Basically, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to remember. No, you have to do the forest dungeon, and then you have to do the snow dungeon, which is at the top. You have and to you do the can... snow dungeon because that will allow you to get to a Pona, which allows you to get to the third dungeon, which is the Great Bay, and the final dungeon, which is one of the creepiest things I've seen in my life, is the Stone Tower. Oh, yeah. And that is home to a glitch that Creepy lies in our massive. Well, and um, if you've heard of... Ben, which is the haunted Majora's Mask cartridge thing. That Look it up. It's not real, little children. It's not real. Yeah, he, it's not real. But we have something very similar happen to us. Well, Basically, no. but just we were playing it, and all of a sudden, Stone Tower's music started playing. Even though we were in Clock Town, at double speed. Mm. Yeah, double speed. A fierce Daichi's face just flicked on the screen, and it just froze on the soar song soaring. Um, transformation. You might think he's just lying, making up a creep pasta. That actually happened. I think what I did, I like, um, because I jumped on the floor for some reason. I, I was trying to close the window, jump down, doesn't matter. But um, I, um, uh, we kind of did the tilted cartridge glitch, which you can do with uh, with every N64 game for some weird stuff to happen. And um, it kind of like it went weird. I didn't actually see it, but Jay said that the 
Fierce Daichi was there for like a second, even though you didn't even have the mask in your event. Actually, no, you did have it, but you weren't using it. Yeah. So, um, now let's get on to the story. We've talked about a lot of gameplay and design oh, yeah. aspects of it. Let's go on to the story. So, when you begin, you are in the Lost Woods, and you are searching for your friend, who many people have speculated to be Na'vi. It is. Yes, it is. I mean, who it, else is Why it? would you want to find that thing? A new character named So, uh, now, basically, you come, once you've done, you come across Skull Kids, and it shows the Happy Mask Man. And basically, he tells you that he, the Majora's Mask was stolen by Skull Kids, and that he needs you to get it back within three days. And if you look on the back of his back, Mario, what, what the hell are you looking at? Oh, no, <laughs> you look it up for things. Yeah, there's Mario on the back there. You can, if you look carefully, you can see him. I don't know what he's doing to himself in the front. Yeah. yeah. So the rest yeah, of this, before. yeah, the rest of the story involves you tra tra tracking down Skull Kid in order to stop a giant moon which is falling. And I don't know where the answer is falling. Where did he? So basically, it is quite. It's quite different because. The story in this game, you've actually it's much got three, darker. yeah, very dark. You've actually got three days, which in real time would accumulate up to a couple of hours, yeah. and basically you got only a, a little bit of time until this crazy mother oh, <laughs> drops God. down on you. Oh dear! Yeah, <laughs> there he is. I, I, got, I cried when I saw this as a child. Oh God! Really? Yes. Oh. Now we've done the story, so that is pissing. <laughs> so it's now, easy. if you look at it, you can transform to masks as well, which is good. Oh, yeah. like, it's fun, uh, it's pretty creepy. For it's example, different things, if you look it? at the Zora Mask transformation... Look at his eyes! Oh dear! It looks like something out of Cirque de Freak. I don't know what I haven't is. watched that film, but yeah, whatever, you get the point. And now, if you exit, you go to the game's overworld. Which is to me a field, yes. It's completely round. I mean, it goes around it's top It's a pretty town. small overworld. And yeah. But the good thing about it, it's got the original Zelda music. That's cool. Who doesn't enough. love that? Um, and uh, <laughs> it's got it's got this it's very similar enemy and an enemy type. It's just those like um, you got choo choos. Yeah, choo choos. Just and there are a couple of crows which can steal your sword. Really? I made the mistake of stealing the sword and saving the game, and I couldn't get it back. Oh, I don't know why. It, that's like only a little small thing that happened to me, or is it just, like, broken? It's just a broken. glitch. It's glitch in all these old games. Now, um, another thing we haven't spoken about is that this game is a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time, and because of that, you can use the Ocarina of Time. And you can play several songs, for example, similar ones like, for example, the Song of Storms. Zelda's Lullaby, if you want to. Oh, can you play? It? No, that's not. Zelda's Lullaby is not in this game. But oh, I was wrong. I was wrong again. <laughs> Zelda's Lullaby is in this game. And you can use instead of using the warp songs, you have the song soaring. Oh, that's very useful actually. Which is down, left, up, down, left, up, and that allows yeah. you to transport to any main point on the map, apart from. No, I think it's more or less um, every point. Yeah, most of the. Yeah. So, like, let me just all show these you places here. It's very useful actually. All of these, yeah. But you have to first unlock them. You have to find the owl statues that are hidden around the town. It is a very, very good game. Well, much like all Zelda games, they're good. Yeah. But the problem with this one it is a bit short. If you don't include the side quests, the main quest is a bit short. It's and. Short. Four dungeons. But, yeah, it's only four dungeons, and the dungeons don't last that long. But uh, apart point, from this, the stone tower. The stone tower. This takes. This takes Jesus us Christ, forever. man! This takes oh. forever. Oh my Jesus Christ! Oh my Jesus Christ! Because <laughs> um, um, if you look down from here, don't 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 go too far off the edge, Jim. Yeah, but good God! It's yeah, like it goes look, down forever, and it, and then it flips upside down, so you have to go up this. No, no, you land at the top afterwards, and let me just yeah, let's just show you. Look, so if you jump all the way down, careful not to land. Oh god, you're gonna la Oh! And that is the bottom of Stone Tower! That's the bottom? <laughs> oh, right. And at the very top, you that's we were all the way up there. Oh, so I'm not gonna bother with that, but. Yeah, we can reset. We Down we go! How do you do that? Okay, yeah. Right. And, um. Okay. So, yeah, so we talked about a lot of the game now. So, let's go on to the review score. And um, I'm gonna give this game a 8.5. What the hell has just happened to the game? I did that on purpose. Oh god, I was <laughs> trying to... Okay, never mind, that was another little car cookie cartridge. Let's just leave it, let's leave it. Hold on, wait. There's no music. Yeah, it's glitched. It doesn't matter. That was because of Deathbringer 22.6. Take the... Turn it on and off, turn it on and off, turn it on and off. Hold on, hold on. You blow on the cartridge. Ready? Oh. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, um, I was just trying to do something we did another time. I'm very sorry. Okay, well... We could do a separate video where we're trying to do that, actually. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we could. Oh, God. Don't expect loads of reviews, by the way. Oh, oh yeah, here, we're back, we're back. 
So, as I was saying, um, the review score we're going to give for this is an 8.5 out of 10. Because... Really? Uh, nine? No. I no. could push it to nine. No, no. I'll give you some money. No. <laughs> yeah, so 8.5 out of 10. <laughs> well, the good point of the game, it's it's Zelda. First of all, it's a Zelda game. Oh, all no, Zelda no, games no. are good. Hold on, hold on. Good point of the game, it's that um, they made it much more different all the time while still having the same engine. And um, it's a much more sophisticated story, but there isn't a lot of guidance. I mean, in the first bit of the game, very early on, they drop you off in Clock Town, oh, and um, yes, after that, that you have true. to work out for yourself a lot of stuff to do. It is, that, that part is very hard. It's a very big area. I mean, you, I mean, especially for like little children, mm. if you play but, this game, if you but, really want to. Yeah, play. but the thing is, though, it just think, it's quite short as well. If you don't include the side quests, it is a very short game. Yeah. And if you're one of those people who don't bother to collect things, good luck. Well, <laughs> completely 100% will take a bit, of, uh, a bit of a while. Yeah. But a lot of people think this is the best Zelda game of them all. It is one of the best, but it's not the best. My favourite at the moment is Skyward Sword. Um, what about yours? I really can't decide. Okay. Well, anyway, thanks for watching this review, and we're probably going to get a lot of haters for this, but like, yeah, comment, fine. and subscribe. So tell us what you think. Are thanks for watching. For that now?